Good day everyone and welcome again to another episode of the HSFF audio blog. It is Monday the 22nd of April 2024 and this time I will give you the audio blog to Stephen King's Needful Things, a novel which I just finished this weekend and for a King constant reader like me can't believe it took me 20 years to get to Needful Things because uh, quite honestly this is an excellent novel and it uh, made it into my top five of Stephen King novels overall. So Needful Things was first published in 1991 and I have the wonderful new paperback edition by Hodder. Hoda is this English publisher and uh, honestly I started my King reading journey 20 years ago with Hoda paperbacks. Even then they had a unique style, their artworks are great and you know what, I probably a pulp reader, I enjoy the paperback more than the hardcover book. So Needful Things, it's a part of the Castle Rock cycle of uh, King novels. Maybe even the last uh, Castle Rock novel because uh, afterwards... Uh, well, not going to spoil anything. Let's say I'm not sure if the town has survived in the end. So um, this is about a fancy, mysterious new store called Needful Things which opens in the small town of Castle Rock and uh, the, the owner is uh, Mr. Leland Gaunt, a mysterious and uh, charming man. Uh, he sells all kinds of oddities, but as it turns out, whoever walks in as a customer finds his heart's desire on the shelves and that at the price you can just about afford but you know what uh, for Mr. Gaunt it's about the dealing about the dickering and he will always get his price if you have a few cents that's fine but uh, you know, he is after your needs and your desires and those things he sells to you. They will take a huge amount of your life. They will consume you. And yeah, in most cases, uh, the people turned mad. Only a few recovered from Leland Gorn's items. So it's very cool idea here. And as usual by Stephen King, it's filled with a huge cast of unique characters. Uh, there's um, the sheriff here, Alan Pangborn. Uh, he's the most rational man. If you, if you want, he's the protagonist. Um, then then we, we have Polly. Uh, she, she has also um, a sewing uh, shop. You sue and sue. There's the kid, Brian Rusk. He's the first customer of Needful Things. He walks in there just to find the most wanted, most searched baseball card ever. And it is even signed. He couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, but it didn't turn out too well for him owning this card, let's say. We have the alcoholic and rowdy you priest. We have the hilarious town select man Danford Buster Keaton. Never call him Buster to his face to his face. We have a Catholic and a Baptist community and uh well, let's say in later course of the novel, they're not going to like each other anymore. So Stephen King, he brings us this 
wonderful and wide uh, cast of uh, townsfolk and he really writes them in a very believable way and uh, this is the the most funny funniest whatever uh, novel of Stephen King I ever read I had no idea that reading Stephen King can be so funny honestly I'm not too sure but I think this is after his uh, you know, uh, cocaine addict years, but uh, this is such a wonderful, wonderful comedy of a novel. So last year I read the Tommy Knockers and uh, Tommy Knockers, I think it's 1987. That was certainly, um, let's say, uh, King's cocaine uh, years, his era of addiction. And it was a very weird novel, but it also had some funny scenes. This one here, Needful Things, it's, it's constantly funny. I found myself laughing out loud even, and this is rarely achieved by a book. So it was just a pleasure to read this book. And it's also a huge, a very long book. Um, it's almost a thousand pages. It's, uh, it, let me check, it's 930 something pages in my edition here. And each single page was a pleasure to read. Mr. King did it again. Uh, this is a fantastic book. So let's say a um, little uh, bit more about Mr. Leland Gaunt, uh, the antagonist. The monster, if you're willing. Um, well, um, the the things he sells, they will cost you your soul. And he has a wonderful uh, way of um, just making you believe that uh, you bought the items at the perfect price, at the price you can just about afford, which is definitely worth it. But uh, then, yeah these items these things they uh, they are like a drug uh, people become addicted to them there there's um, a woman who buys um, a vase a, a vase for her you know for her flowers in in the living room window and uh, she becomes so obsessed with this item she She barely goes outside of her house anymore. Uh, when she does, she's always thinking about whether the, the vase will be all right uh, or if, if a burglar comes and steals it. So this is uh, just Stephen King again showing his masterful skills of the human psyche. Then there's... Uh, A woman, a mother of two, uh, she buys sunglasses and when she wears those sunglasses, she sees the king, not Stephen King, but Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. And well, she celebrates horny parties with him. Uh, I don't know, they're having kind of orgies and She's uh, more and more living in this. Uh, now we would call it today a virtual reality. And she completely forget, uh, forgets her family, her two sons, about this item. Uh, again, this is uh, the horror of Stephen King. And it, it's familiar because uh, today there, there are cases like this with, uh, you know, uh, internet connection and virtual reality tools. In the end, um, Mr. Leland Gaunt, who is definitely some kind of supernatural being, he, um, he threatens to withdraw these items from the people again once they are addicted. And yeah, they can uh, deflect that idea if they um, agree to do some favors for Mr. Gaunt. Because the dealing is only done when Mr. Gon says it's done. So his in intentions become clear. You know, he sets people on people. Um, he uh, wants, he uh, sells 
conflicts in the community. It's a small town after all. Everyone knows everyone. Um, he will make the people hate each other. He makes uh, women uh, step the tires of uh, very expensive cars and leave little notes, uh, letters of intent, fabricated certainly, but to the victims, they are very believable. It's, uh, it's old animosities becoming life again. And soon everyone wants to get their reven revenge from everyone. Well, Sheriff Pangborn, um, he gets the idea something is going very, very wrong as soon as two, wo two women kill each other on the street. All right, I leave it at that. Um, once again, this uh, novel is highly recommended. If you haven't read it all already, as a Stephen King fan, you definitely should. And well, I guess it's a bit uncommon for Stephen King to write such a funny book. But uh, yes, if you are into comedies, you might try this as well. Uh, it was just a delight to read this book. A pleasure from beginning to the end. Uh, it has aged very well. And yeah, it reminded me of small town life uh, because I also uh, was raised in a small town. Yeah. All right. If you made it to the end, feel free to give the thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Better yet, leave a comment. Why not? Just do it. Do it. And maybe see you soon. Bye bye.